We all know Aiden. Aiden's been with us, I think, maybe this is his third season. We all know Aiden. Well done, Aiden. 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 <laughs> we know that Aiden well will do a good job. Uh, what he'd done last year was exceptional, and uh, he deserves a lot of credit for that. And we look forward to being successful this season again. When Mick Cook left, it was a bit of a dilemma for the club because being so successful last season and uh, being so close to the Premier, we had we just had to decide what the club wanted to do. And the club wants to go forward and hopefully be up there again this season and win promotion to the Premier. Hey. The Premier Division is very important, not only to the club, it's very important to the town because the Premier Division, as we all know, the bigger clubs, the Shamrock Rovers, the Bowes, <coughs> the Derry Cities, they will bring people to Monaghan and they will bring business to Monaghan. So it's very important for us to try to get there. We spent a lot of years spending our monies, I suppose, trying to develop our facilities. And now we have to push on and get into the Premier and try and bring things forward. Now, that is the purpose of Roddy coming in on board. Obviously, everybody will know Roddy as well, and know his history. There's no point in making through his history. He's been very successful as a player. He's been very successful as a manager, both in Ireland, in Northern Ireland, in England, and in Malta. And I know he's a very strong personality in the dressing room, and he will bring the best out of our players. So, we let Roddy say a few words now. Okay. <laughs> Such a, a wet day, I knew about that actually, but um, <clears throat> you know, it's like talking to Jim and the, the enthusiasm that Jim showed me when I met him in Dublin. I obviously wanted a job, Jim, you know that. I applied and I told you I wanted a job. But the honesty that I got from Jim and the lads uh, when they met me in Dublin and, and my future son in law plays for the club for the last number of years, so I knew the club from an outsider already. Um, what you said about stepping forward and wanting to take the club forward for, for the sake of the town and, and for the sake of the Chamber of Commerce in the town to bring business is, uh, is what you know, every business needs. Um, from a football point of view, I've been starved of management for six and a half years now, although for the short spell in Malta and uh, a bit of a disaster in Cork, uh, the ambition and the desire to, to, to be a top class manager <coughs> has never left me since the first day I became a manager 16 years ago in Bangor. And uh, you know, I, I have a, an energy and a drive and a desire and a passion that's unquenchable to, to take the club forward. And um, you know, and it's no it's no um, secret that I've been applying for work for many many clubs, and for you know whatever reasons I haven't been accepted. Uh, I just think you know I've met the right man. I believe I've met the right man because I believe Jim is honest. Everyone telling me Jim is honest, and you know, and I'll be honest and. I think when you have honesty in football and good lads in football and Edo, as we said, from all accounts done a brilliant job last year. So it's it's a no brainer for me to work with to work with Edo and take it forward. Mick had a fantastic season, he's done unbelievable last year. So for me coming in is probably the easiest job I've ever had to come into where it wasn't as a massive disruption. Edo can take it forward with us. I'll add my piece to it. There's new players at the club. There will be new players coming to the club uh, over the over the period of the season with windows open and closing, players coming, players coming. So my excitement for it and you know my feel for it is very positive. You know, it's to be to be back in management for me is just unbelievable. It's brilliant. And my excitement today, I couldn't sleep last night, believe it or not. You know, <laughs> even my find I heard from the I didn't I didn't sleep last night with excitement and anticipation and um Whatever I bring to the table, I'll bring honesty and 100% uh, hard work. And as I say, I'll get the best out of the players with plenty of compassion. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, I don't uh, deal in sentiment. If you do the job, you do the job. If you don't, you don't. The most important for me is man and football club because I'm the boss here now over the football end of it. So I hope I won't. It's down. It won't be for the lack of effort. I can tell you that now in hard work. And uh, once again, thanks for coming. And, Make me feel welcome already. I'm really boasting for this job. I can't wait to get going. And uh, if Aidan could say a few words, mm -hmm. I think Aidan's a huge part of this situation. Normally, when you go into a club, 
you know, you'll come in and you, 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 I, I'll come up with anyone, you know, and uh, but you'll, you'll find there's people at different agendas, but I've done a lot of research on Aiden. That's the nature of the business, let's, let's all be open here, you know. And uh, Jim, Jim stood over Aiden from the very first minute we met, saying that it wasn't a bone of contention, but it was a wish of the club, and I've no problem with that. So, you know, Aido, if you can give us a few words there. Um, you no, know, it's a very, very exciting time for the club, you know, like in the last couple of weeks there's obviously been a bit of turmoil. People didn't know what way it was going to go, but the club have come forward, they're out to bring in Roddy, like he said, big personality, a lot of experience. It can only be good for the club, but as you said, we're going to have to perform. Last year was a good season, but it just wasn't good enough really because we didn't get the ultimate prize, and that's what we're looking for this year. And as Roddy said, we work hard, we do the best we can, and hopefully we, we get the, the end result this year and get promotion. I mean, Jim has, is a very honest man, he's been very good to the club, and we, we would like to repay him. And like I said, it's all about promotion this year. We'll be available now for any questions, if any, the press has any questions or whatever. And when we're finished with the questions for a short time, uh, maybe Roddy be available for some photographs. We do have a game tonight, which is the most important thing tonight. This, this, is, this is a couple hours before a game, but we do have a game and the game is important and we have to get preparation for that. So if anyone has any questions, we take them now and maybe we do it for photographs after this. Okay, thank you. Peter Hughes. Bloody Hayden, Peter Hughes from the Ooh, Peter. Peter. Northern Standard. Uh, I'd like to ask you, what style of football do you think we can see at Gordy Keegan this season? Well, it's hard to determine that. I'm not going to come in here and say we're going to change the world. I mean, the, the lads done well last week. They had a good style of football. They played football on the deck, which I like. Uh, they played well in Ireland. Uh, they played well in Ireland. 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 They played what players are available, there are players out there available to be in and, and, to, and to strengthen. But what I will say is it will be attacking football. It will be exciting football. You know, you, you will be hanging on the edge of your seat sometimes because I don't believe in draws. It's either a win or a loss for me. So, you know, um, in certain situations, obviously, take a draw. But no, a good exciting football, entertainment. That's what people want. They want to bore, bore people to death. So, yeah, exciting attacking football. Please, God. Thanks. Alan Gunn, Northern Side Radio. All right, Alan. It's early days yet, but your impressions of Monaghan United so far, the club? Well, I don't know. Only what, I mean, I've only, I've only come now, I mean, from what I've learned from Alan. Um, I'd one night's training with the lads. Great enthusiasm in the squad of players. Great honesty there. I met Jim and the lads down in Dublin, and I was very impressed with the honesty. I've had a lot of interviews, and I've met a lot of Charlton's, a lot of Spoofers, you know. So I'm happy and content that I feel. In a, in a good place, with, with safe with good people. So, as regards Monaghan United, it was back in my time, Billy Barks that was the king of the castle, and Billy's a very good personal friend of mine. So I did that. I, I had trips up to, to Monaghan in the past. But um, I would like to think that whatever happened in the past will be history when I live, because I hope to bring something special in the future. And expectations is pretty high among supporters this year, after a good year last year. What's your own expectations? Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to mess around, that's for sure. And I've never been a loser. It's not in the blood. or the family that win. Um, expectations will be something for to ask me in about four or five weeks' time when we assess the players. <coughs> Sometimes people reach a peak and they're content with that and maybe, you know, they live on, on, on the laurels. So <coughs> we'll see, you know, the, the attitude of the players that were here last year and the new ones that have come in and the quality. And then, you know, we'll, take, we'll, we'll make an assessment then, I'll sit down with Aidan, we'll see, you know, where we need to go and uh, improve things and then, then we can talk. Other than that, we just, you know, I wouldn't be true to myself to come in and say, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, because it, 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 it's just stupidity. I have to wait and see. Thank you. Many of you dads are in the club this year. Well, uh, from where I gather, I think Aidan will come back, there's five new players. Yeah, there's yeah. Good yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, good. yeah. I've, I've worked with two of them. Yeah. I worked with Dave Rogers at Carlisle. <coughs> I, I got him fixed up in the shares and then I, I took Fabio out to Malta. Uh, so I know I know what they're capable of. You know, people think they're winding down their careers. Well, that's not going to happen to me. You know, it's not going to be a look to man. 
whatever, we pick up a few quid and have a laugh, that's not going to happen, no way, so I'm not saying they are that type of people, you know, but just in case anyone thinks that that's the, the attitude, that's the, not going to be the attitude, so I would want whatever's left in their legs for the next couple of seasons, please God, to, to get the best out of them. Comfortable what I've seen, but obviously, as Jim will learn, every manager wants two more players. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look, look, it's, it's, it's just, you know, you come into a club, you see, and obviously you want to put your own slant on, and I'm, I'm very ambitious, extremely ambitious, and very determined. So we we'll see the, uh, the, uh, the, the commerce, the commerce, what is it? Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce, yeah. So I know in the climate we're in now that, and we may, maybe not a bad idea to have a meeting with all the. Hmm? You know, and I can pour my heart out to them for a few quid for players. <laughs> 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 Incidentally, I'm off the mark in that one already. A man called Pat Dempsey from Monaghan has a garage in Dublin. Uh, he, me, he's, he knows nothing about soccer. We call me during the week and he just says, You're yeah, taking over that Monaghan job. Yeah. Will you be in the dugout against Dublin the weekend? I said, no, it's the soccer team. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's a call now. So fair play to him. He's, he's throwing me a brand new Jeep to get up and down without even asking. So that goodwill in the present climate, and I know, is, is fantastic. It's good. So. <laughs> 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 so the end of the week, that would be a help to me to change of commerce and all the local business people if you don't mind. Ronnie, well, just another question. You talked there about bringing new players in, but one thing the local fans really like to see is some of the young local underage talent and give them an opportunity. Yeah. Do you think you might be able to do that over the course of the season? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to speak to uh, Sean McCarthy the, over this weekend for sure. And I'm going to designate one day a week to come up and get involved in the underage, have a look. When I come into a club, I come into a club. You know, I get really into it. I want to see the underage players. I want to use them. I want to. I mean, let's, let's be honest, we're in a game of selling as well, you know. So if we can find a kid that we, I haven't got a bad eye for players, but we can find a kid that we can move on for decent money to help the club, if that's okay by the club, yeah, I'll be definitely in, in, interested in doing that. And I already have scouts out. There's a couple of players, one in Carrick, uh, Carrick Macross, who I am speaking to tomorrow. You know, so, yeah. Definitely local and Dublin anyway, it doesn't matter. I mean, my record shows they come from the Caribbean, they come from I was like, uh, we're all down the mouth after we heard that we, lo we lost Mick Cook and everybody was saying what we're going to do now, where will we go from here? So th things didn't look too good as far as the supporters are concerned. But all of a sudden then when the word got around that we had a new, a high profile was the word was used to me and the manager. <laughs> uh, and that, so they, that's a good start anyway. So uh, this is my first time to meet my <coughs> fans here tonight and of course I know we didn't. Probably he didn't hear me more than he sees me. Unless the fans will do the same as well, he's hear more than he sees me. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope now, I hope he can take all the busting on. I hope he's a good broad shoulders anyway. <laughs> but anyway, to, I'd like to welcome here and, and hope and God will, will go one better than last year. But at this point, I would like to make also to, uh, uh, to appeal to the many, many supporters in this town and surrounding districts that would rather sit in their backsides watching these big matches on the television, half of them only rubbish anyway as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and I'd like to see them all out now and give, give the management team which they deserve a higher credit yeah, yeah, yeah. as well, by the way. We'll start now from the night Although it's not a great night for it. Look at all the good weather we had and we have a very poor night today. But we'll start from the night anyway. And let's take it from here. And I wish to everybody the best of good luck and success. Yeah. Okay, so 
uh, we, we finish up and, and maybe we'll get a few photographs done. And I just want to remind everybody, 8 o'clock kickoff. I'd like to see everybody out there. Paddy said it's a bad night. There's a stand there that will keep you dry, so <laughs> no, we need to worry about getting wet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.